everybody welcome back this is another tips and tricks video and this video is going to start off with combat training areas our first combat training area is in the stronghold of security which a lot of people are already familiar with and it's on the second floor if you don't know how to get to the second floor uh, you take a ladder right when you get down into the stronghold then you run across that room hit the portal go down another ladder and that's how you do it now <clears throat> In here, there are level 28 flesh crawlers, and they are aggressive, which means that if you aren't at the computer, they will continue to attack you for a period of time until you kill a certain amount or a time limit is reached. 400, uh, I'm going to do this by uh, what you typically get from an inventory of these, and what you'll typically find is an inventory of 400 to 600 fire runes, 10 to 25 dust runes, 5 to 25 natures, and the rest of your inventory will be unidentified herbs and noted iron and you get a lot of iron ore and you get a lot of unidentified herbs now this is a great place for making money while you train at a low level because the nature sell for 220 each i believe uh dust runes i'm not sure of but i know iron ore sells and so do unidentified herbs and so do nature runes so this is a great place to make money a great place to get xp and this is my friend right here, Aching Tumor, he's attacking, and he's very good. And I'm gonna trade him, and he's gonna show me what he has. I don't see what he has. He's a good combat level, congrats buddy. Now this is two trips minus the herbs that he's gotten, uh, or he said to double the herbs. Now this is, uh, as you can tell, pretty darn fantastic. Uh, unidentified herbs are very valuable not only to yourself but also to um, not only uh, you can use them yourself or you can sell them now the, um, the next place I'm going to show you is also in the stronghold of security and it is uh, their deadly spiders level 55 now, you, they aren't very hard to get stupid doors okay now these are a little bit harder. I would suggest AFKing these at uh, level 60 defense and 60 attack strength and defense uh, for reasons because I don't want you to die. <laughs> uh, you can do it at 50 but it just takes more attention. If you start at level 70 all stats you, um, you will have the fastest XP rates and you will have the easiest time with it because you won't have to be at the computer very much. Now in this room right here are the spiders and they are level 55 giant spiders. Oop, my bad. Nobody, come on, same stupid question. And they are they are level 55, they have a high attack. They can hit, uh, if I recall correctly, eights or sevens. <clears throat> which is a pretty good amount of damage, but if you have a high defense you're not going to get here very often, and you'll just get a ton of XP. They don't drop anything, so you're not going to be getting any drops, but that's kind of the nice part about them. Without any drops, you get, uh, you don't have to worry about drops, and all you have to do is just worry about getting kills and staying alive. Uh, cave crawlers are nice because you're lower level and you need money. These are good, uh, giant spiders are good if you have high stats already, and you want to do something like homework, while you play the game. Anyways, that's it for the combat training. I've got more tips for you. Stick along. And here we are with another tip. I did one on RuneScape uh, headquarters, Rune HQ, and I still stand behind that tip in an earlier video. And in that video, I uh, showed you how to find areas for um, getting information on old RuneScape. But here we are, and this is Zydez.net. It's a great old website. It's been around for a long, long time. And here, uh, you can get an updated price guide on items. Now, all you have to do is go to the forums. I'll do it slowly so you guys can follow me. Go to the RuneScape area, and you'll see Money Making and Marketplace right underneath that old school RS price guide. And here, not only do you have people trading things, Faster than the speed of light, might I add. People are always 
trading things and selling them here on the trading block. You can also look up the prices of things. So uh, dragon plate lights, we'll look up the, those. And you'll see there's a drop bar. You look it up, click it, and it's telling you that the price is falling, that they started out at almost 13 mil, and now they're dropping to 8.8. .8. So it's pretty amazing guys this is fantastic you can get pretty much up-to-date prices on things uh, obsidian cape is now 200k or 150k there's an offer over there for 200 awesome stuff guys this means a lot of really good things for us because we can have an updated price guide now this isn't official or anything like that feel free to sell whatever you want this is just if you're looking to skill and go out and skill things then you might as well know what the prices or the ballpark is for what you're going to be buying or if you want to buy here use the trading block or sell same way it's really good guys i hope it helps you out oh you know i'm just room crafting here just chilling you know doing my thing bam oh shit something got 44 room crafting i might as well be the greatest player in the game but seriously, y'all. Nature runes, baby. Woo! Winning. Grats me, grats me. I know. I know. Anywho, I have this thing. It's called a clan chat going. And I'll be in it every time I'm logged in. And you can be too. It's uh, pretty cool. I don't really want to PM people and tell them to join unless I know them really well. But if you guys are a fan and you just want to come chill with some tight people come to my clan chat just put stark eye in and if you're cool maybe i'll give you a rank Ooh, fake ranks anyways that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy it got some new tips i finally got 44 so yay for me smack the like button to show your appreciation for all my hard work <laughs> i have no idea why that made sense but it's cool i will talk to you guys later peace